How you all doing guys? Brandon here from Retro Dodo. You're watching yet another episode of What The Fake, the YouTube series where we go around the web to find the fakest games consoles possible. And in this episode, it is something a little bit different. It's not a direct clone from a product, but it's a old school Game Boy mixed with something incredibly odd. And it is this one here, also known as the Game Fan, but I want to call it the Nintendo Fanboy. Now I paid $20 for this heap of crap. I don't know why, but I was so impressed with how awful it looks, I just had to pick it up. So, this is on AliExpress. You can pick these up for 10 to 15 to 25 dollars. Now, there is a couple of different variants. My good friend Elliot, apparently he had a really good one with a terrible screen. Hey Brandon, check out my new LCD console with fan. Sorry, L, but I think this one is going to be a little bit better. <laughs> I can't even cry because it's drying out my tears. If you want to see Elliot's video, there is a link below. But this one has a colored screen. So here is the packaging. A couple of the, uh, the, the text and the image on the back is actually embossed, which is quite nice. It seems like they've invested a fair bit into their packaging. A shame they didn't invest any into their actual product. Now, the battery is 800 milliamp. The fan runs for nine to 10 hours, where the game console only runs for six to seven. So if you really do get sweaty and you need a couple of hours to literally cool down, this is for you. So let's open it up and look at this. Wow, okay, this is what we've got. This is the Nintendo fanboy. Oh my god. This is disgusting. Look at this. Why on earth is AliExpress or anyone coming up with this idea? You can imagine the team behind it sitting down in their office being like, hmm, you know what I think we need to make is a fan connected to a handheld console because people sweat when they play games, right? Right? Hmm, okay, so it obviously looks like the classic DMG Game Boy going on here, almost like the LDK game that we reviewed ages ago. You've got the D-pad, which is silicon. All the buttons are silicon. You've got your A, B, your, it looks like your reset and on button, your start select, and your sound. So, like, it, it's got your micro USB down here for charging. Let's turn on the fan. So, this is the fan down here. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that is, uh, that is, it's almost like, you know, someone farting in your face, just a light breeze, nothing crazy, stings the eyeballs a little bit, and I think if you press it, speeds up, ooh la la, don't know if you can hear it, you can definitely hear it, I don't know if there's a bug stuck in there or something, but the fan is, ooh, and that's the third level, okay, so there's three levels, there's off, slow, medium, high, so four levels. And that high, oh my God, I don't know if you can see that, if that wants to focus. Come on, camera, focus up, bud. That is spinning around, and if I turn it off, that will slow down and turn off. So let's turn off the fan and turn on the game. I'm guessing you press on here. Do I hold on? Okay, there we go, alrighty. I can already hear the music. Let's zoom in for you a little bit and get you a close up of the Nintendo fanboy. Now, three levels of audio as well. Sounds like a, you know, a dying cat. Nothing special about the audio. And I don't, okay, the audio's coming out the back here. This is just an awful, awful product. Okay, so it's got 500 in one games. A great investment. Here's just a, a few to uh, to go off the list. Chinese Kung Fu, Angry Bird, Pocket Monster, Advance Island 1, 2, 3, Mag Max, Chip and Dale, Super Mario. Let's try Super Mario. Okay, so it looks like Super Mario Bros is on here. It's a bit... Start. Okay, let's go. Screen tearing is awful, but the frame rate seems silky smooth. Buttons are actually somewhat responsive. Oh, look at that screen tearing. That is not nice. If 
Viewing angles are incredibly poor. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. It's just changing color as we speak. But the actual like response and the frame rate is uh, actually quite nice. Oh, got me. All right, and I guess if we press reset, that comes back out to the menu. I want to see what Pocket Monster is. Oh my lord, what on earth? That is a Squall Pikachu. Is this just like a fake Pokemon platformer? What the hell? Screen tearing is actually so bad. Oh no, this is not a nice game to play at all. Comfortability wise, it's about as comfortable as holding a slab of glass. It's quite thick, but I am starting to get a little bit hot in here because of all of the lights. So let me just turn on the fan. Whoa! Alrighty. This is, I like a... Oh no, like why do they make this? I don't understand why they're like, let's make a $20 console with a fan, with a load of fake games on it that ba like barely resemble the real deal. Like they've got a bit of, you know, they've got fake Pokemon, they've got Advance Island, which I'm guessing is Super Mario. I just have no idea. How many games does it have? So it does have 500. But no real, you know, belters or ones that you're actually gonna use. Super Contra, to be fair, that's a that's a decent game, but that can be run on a potato. So I don't know why you'd pick up this just for that game. But I thought I'd show you this handheld because it is completely awful. Uh, I don't know if you want me to do even more like crappy consoles in the future. Let me know. But the Nintendo fanboy here is by far. One of the worst ones I've seen on AliExpress. And the fact that they're charging $20 for this is absolutely ridiculous. But there you have it. There is the Nintendo fanboy. A quick video today showcasing a really, really awful handheld. Like, why put a fan on this? You know? I do not know. Like, I don't know if... This was originally a fan, like the casing was originally a fan, then a company just came along, bought all the shelves and put a Game Boy in it. I just don't know. I honestly don't know. Let me know your opinions in the comments section below. I'm genuinely interested in what you think of this little console. In my personal opinion, I'd rather, you know, save $20 and buy something else because this is just absolutely awful. As per usual, thanks for watching another episode of What The Fake, and I hope to see you in the next video.